not gonna be great on that field, you gotta have a why. You gotta have a reason for why you do what you do. Yo, what's up, guys? This your boy Cool I'm at 100X. I'm coming to you with another offensive tip that'll probably be in playbooks or some shit that you can put in your customs. Now, the formation we're going to be working on is called I Form Mid Attack, or this play can call be called Texas. Now, you want to go to I Form, and it's called Mid Attack. Now, um, let me come on, random play, and all right, now. What's really cool about this play is that you have the tight end on that post route, the comeback route with the receiver, and the out route with the left receiver. Now, the focal point on this route is that you want to hit the fullback. Now, uh, you can pass lead down and hit him, which is that's a bad example. <laughs> he didn't cut back in time. Let's try one more time when he cuts. And that linebacker is really watching me. Hold on, let me see. Trying to get him when he cuts there. Bam. That's what I want to do. You want to get him when he cuts. The timing is very hard. So when he cuts, you want to wait. Bam. That's what you want to do. You want to hit him before he hits. So I definitely get you a couple yards there. Now, um, to run this play, uh, you can definitely put the tight end on the slant. I just really don't trust them post routes that much. I just feel as though the tight end is uh way more better on this play because when you slant him you can just pass lead down and just hit him and he got extra speed boost when he goes to the left side of the field now the fullback can be very tedious because that linebacker is watching him very firm so you want to make sure if that linebacker is on it because a lot of users do not pay attention to that route because this is a computer so you know when he gets that you can definitely get you a couple yards for a first down or something like that now the out route can be used in various ways. You just got to figure out how to use it because if they plan like that, you don't want to throw that route. They're playing underneath those routes. So if they're not, you can definitely hit the comeback route as well and definitely get you a couple yards there. Now, what's really slick about this play is that uh, when you come out in the play, you can definitely go to buy formation. I form you want to press R1 to sub. Now, you can definitely put a running back here or you can put a tight end there. You can put a tight end there to have better catching. Now, they won't know that that's a tight end there. They'll probably think that's a fullback. Now, that's what makes this play very distinguished. So you can definitely open it up with a tight end if you feel as though the fullback is now more agile than what you think. See how much, uh, much smoother the play runs because they're not adjusted to that tight end than they do the running back. So. And tight end makes a variation with that route. You can definitely throw the post route as well if you feel as though it's open. I just feel as though I don't trust it as much, but if it's open, definitely throw the post route. So when you have that tight end there, you have two routes you can hit automatically, and it's hard to stop the tight end because the computer cannot recognize him. So that's very good as well. So you can definitely put him on a slant. You can definitely hit him. He overthrew him, so... This is a great, great route to run. That triangle route is very good. Throw it to him. You get a, a good five to ten yards, depending on how you use her. So, I hope you enjoyed this tip, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe um, for Mid Attack, man. Got some more offensive tips coming your way, so be sure to check out the channel. All the links are in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, all that shit, man. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to go think of some more shit for y'all to, you know, some more tips and shit on offense with me. So, deuces, people. I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>